I firmly believe uh, that our state has benefited from the major policy initiatives uh, that we have undertaken since I've been governor. Going from a state representative that led opposition against many administration policies and fighting to pass bills in a Republican-led legislature to governing over four and a half million people. We are Louisiana strong and Louisiana proud. John Bell Edwards was thrown into the fire in managing a state forced into constant resiliency. And many, many people are going to be tested in ways that we can only imagine. Louisiana is more adversely affected by climate change than any state in the nation. From the 2016 flood to the 2021 freeze to Hurricane Laura, Delta, Zeta and Ida and now wildfires, Edwards takes a pragmatic approach. There's no reason to sit here today and believe that the worst is behind us. Uh, and in fact, there's every reason to believe uh, that is just going to continue. Despite coming from a small town in Tangipahoe Parish, many miles from the coast, Edwards prioritized building infrastructure to minimize the damage, with hundreds of millions of dollars going towards coastal restoration and protections. You can see that it's making a real difference with, when we restore uh, barrier islands, when we restore coast, when we build levees. Something no governor ever expects to have to take on came early in his second term, the COVID-19 pandemic. It is only going to get worse from here. For a time in early 2020, Louisiana had the largest growth rate of the virus in the world. And now the virus has taken the lives of over 19,000 Louisianians. As we were very, very worried that our hospitals might have to resort to crisis standards of care. Edwards was faced with fierce backlash, as did many governors, with his COVID policies during the worst of the virus, and even after, as anti-vaccination and masking legislation bloomed. I wouldn't wish that uh, uh, situation on any future governor of this state or any other. With the pandemic came a windfall of federal money, a far cry from what Edwards inherited in his first term. When I became governor, we had a $2 billion shortfall and a total of $400 million in the bank. Today, we have a balanced budget and 3.2 billion dollars in the bank and in, in two savings accounts. After grueling special sessions and fights over where spending had to be cut, a balanced budget was reached. Now that the fiscal cliff is in the rearview mirror, prosperity and stability. Since then, the state has enjoyed major surpluses from following a conservative budget projection and the pandemic aid. Edwards passes on a word of advice on how to keep from falling into a deficit again. But don't upset the economic growth that we've been experiencing either. Uh, because otherwise you kind of go back to to where we were. Now those surpluses are drying up and the next administration will have to decide what gets priority of the state's money.